your boy Big Stoney back again, man. And today we're gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna show y'all how to make your own custom drum sounds, not from scratch, but by combining and editing existing drum sounds to make new ones. So we're gonna do that today. We're gonna make a couple custom drum sounds and then we're gonna make a beat out of them just to show you how it works. So let's get right into it, man. Let's do um, an 808 first, okay, cool. So what I'm gonna do for this is I'm gonna find two, possibly three 808s that I like. Let's do the spins. Maybe the Yeet one. Let's find another one, let's go. All right, so what I like to do for 808s when I'm doing my custom 808, I like to just cut them up, right? So I want the hit of the spins, right? So let's do this. We're gonna cut them and crossfade them. Let's pull it a little bit further. All right, let's see if we can try to fit this one in here too. Maybe on like the tail end. All right, let's see. Maybe a little bit sooner. So you're gonna wanna play with it a little bit. Obviously. Obviously. All right, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna we're we're gonna render that out. So I like to just record them in. Arm your master arm up here. This is our new sample. We're gonna put some thermal on it, man. When I make my little custom 808 sounds, I like to use thermal a lot. They got a lot of cool bass presets. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's because I'm recording in a million clips of it. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. Make sure you unarm your mask, or you're gonna fucking lose your ears like me and Prop here. All right, let's print that out one more time with that on it. All right, boom. Let's make one more 808, and then we'll move on to some other sounds. Also do I'm gonna just keep the little ring texture from that. So this one we're just gonna take the low end out of it. Cause I like the texture from that one too, so we're just gonna let that underlie. See like there's different ways of you know doing this. I did the first one by kind of crossfading them. This one I'm overlaying stuff. So just got to experiment with different ways of combining stuff and just whatever works for you is gonna be what works for you. You know what I mean? See, we, we got a, a little bit of both on that one. So, all right, let's go ahead and render that one out. All right, now let's let's get some percussion. Same thing with the percussion, man. That's really just a lot of layering. So let's make ourselves a clap. Nice clap. All right. We got us a clap. Clap, clap, clap. I'm really just adding different sounds together and, um, Leveling them out, basically. So let's make ourselves a snare. Let's use chop. Let's use this baby snare. Let's use my one of my favorites. Yeah, I'm trying to just get that little bit of high end from that chop snare. Well, maybe, maybe we'll try to add this low one in here too. See if we can get some grit on. Uh, I like it without this, without this baby one. Let's. All right, let's make us a a hi hat. Yeah, get that little flutter in there. Yeah, and then we'll add this little delayed one here. All right, well, let's put them together. All right, we got our hi hat. And then let's just make um let's just make an open hat. It's 
really just about trying to combine like different parts of the different tones that each sound brings like out of the sounds that you're combining you know what i mean sometimes i'll hear like low accents in one and add that and higher accents in one and try to just bring those all together you don't want to like put it put together a bunch of stuff where they have a lot of like similar frequencies or sound the same because then you're not going to get anything like interesting and you're not going to be able to make anything out of it because they're just they're going to mush because it's the same you know same type of sound and stuff so that's enough i'm going to open up a new project here and then we are going to open up our custom drum kit that we made here very simple just a couple sounds you know what i mean but we are going to make it work so we're gonna put something together to this real quick man let's just use a phrase <laughs> I think I could rock with that. Shout out Max Shooter on the melody, man. Actually, let's, um, let's, um, I want to do something real quick. Oh, I didn't do that as smooth as I thought. All right, forget it. it man like we made a couple sounds we made a beat out of it you know what i mean and that's how you do it you know and as always i try to keep things as simple as possible for you and give you the simplest examples um so that you know people who are just learning how to do this can start to learn how to do it before we start getting into more advanced uh ways of doing stuff like this there is a lot more stuff that i do um when i make my custom drum sounds like i use plugins and effects and stuff like that to add more sauce to it but this is how you do it in its simplest form and i just wanted to show you guys that and if this video does well and you guys want a part two we'll do a part two of some more um advanced techniques that i do and you know what i mean i'll spill some more sauce for you guys so yeah man i hope that you guys learned a little something from this video i hope that you uh go home and try to make some of your own sounds if you've been wanting to it's never too late so just get on it now man that's the only way you're gonna get good at it and uh yeah man i hope that y'all enjoyed the video and until next time big stony out <laughs>